So welcome to Whippoorwill Holler. I'm Miss Lori and this is Mr. Brown. We live in the hills of Arkansas. We love the Lord. Keepers of the old way, but accept some of the new. We love to cook and we love to eat. We love to garden. It's in our blood. It's how we stay sustainable and fill our pantry. We do a lot of canning and preserving. We live a sustainable life. We love our family. We work hard. And every once in a while, we like to dance. So y'all join us. There just isn't nothing any prettier on a holiday table than a dessert trifle. So what I've got here is, it's 16 ounce pound cake. Um, that's why it's called a pound cake, I guess. <laughs> but this is a Sara Lee that I bought at Walmart. And these are really delicious. But you can also make your own pound cake and just make this dessert that much better. But if we're trying to free up a little bit of our time, plus have a delicious, really pretty delicious uh dessert on our holiday tables you know it don't hurt just get a little bit of help sometimes so make your own pound cake you can also use angel food cake angel food cake I use that a lot in my trifles because angel food cake likes to really absorb all that fruit the, the juices and stuff from your fruits the different fruits that you use in your trifles but on this one, we're going to be using pound cake. And what I'm doing is just cutting it up in cubes. Probably about a half an inch size of cubes. And I'm going to cut this whole thing up and I'm going to use a whole uh, pound cake. And if you make one homemade, a lot of times they'll, uh, they bake up just a little bit taller and but you just want to make sure that you got enough cake to fill your whatever your trifle dish or if you're using a punch bowl I can remember back back in the day uh, I didn't have anything such as a trifle bowl and I, I don't even have one now I used to have one I have no idea where it went but uh, I used an old punch bowl that my grandma gave me because she never used it and uh, we would make uh, trifles what they call trifles but what we call a punch bowl cake and uh, fill that punch bowl up so I'm gonna get the rest of my pound cake cut up you can even make this gluten-free if you have a good cake recipe that you uh, can make up gluten-free um, you can make it a little less sugar with uh, I do believe that you you know make your own whip topping or Cool Whip does make a sugar free Cool Whip there's just a lot of shortcuts that you can make with desserts so that you're able or somebody in your family able to eat it but we absolutely love all the different trifles that I've made over the years some of my favorites, and my kids' favorites, was uh, a brownie trifle. It had uh, brownies, and it had chocolate pudding. It had, uh, of course, your whipped cream. It had toffee bits in it. I think I may even put some uh, caramel in between there. It was so good. Of course, the one we loved the most was the strawberry angel food trifle. It's delicious. And I have a, a black forest trifle with cherries and oh so good but anyways I wanted something different this time something easy but something so good and that's what y'all were wanting too so that's why we're making the peaches and cream trifle okay I'm gonna go ahead and get my pudding mixed up and get it in the refrigerator and this is just a, a small 3.4 ounce 
Jell-O Instant Vanilla Pudding. You can also replace this with the Cheesecake Instant Pudding. Um, I'm trying to think. With it being peach, uh, the cheesecake or the vanilla to me would probably be the best. But yes, it's instant. It's a small pack. So I've got it in my bowl and I'm going to put two cups of milk. And I'm just going to stir this till it starts to thicken up. And then I'm going to stick it in the refrigerator and let it finish thickening up while we go on with our recipe. Okay, this part is really easy too. Now, what you're going to need, this is 18 ounces of your Smucker's Peach Preserves. You can use any kind of peach jam, peach preserves. And if you've got homemade, that's wonderful. I have got every kind <laughs> of preserve and jam except for peach this year. We ate all of our peach uh, butter and our peach uh, preserves from last year and the year before. And I didn't get no peaches this year. So, I went and bought me a jar. This is 18 ounces. Uh, they have it in... Um, in cheaper versions of your peach preserves. Smucker's is a little more expensive, but uh, when I went to looking for my peach preserves, they didn't really have much on the shelf. So that's what I'm going to be using is 18 ounces. And all we're going to do is put it in our pot and we're just going to kind of melt this down a little bit. We'll melt it down. We'll put our other peaches in here with it and then we'll cool it just a little bit before we start making our trifle. I'm going to save my jar because I save jars just to use for canning or for putting my spices in or just anything. My homemade mixes. So I got this on low and we're just going to kind of melt it down a little bit. You'll see it loosen up and that's when you know it's time to put your other peaches in there. Now what I've got here in my bowl is I've got a 29 ounce can of peaches and then a 15 ounce can of peaches. I wanted to make sure that I had plenty of peaches. The recipe called for a 29 ounce can and when I got them cut up because it was sliced peaches I went in there and to the pantry and got me a 15 ounce can because I love peaches and I wanted plenty of peaches. So, that's kind of something you can work with too. If you don't want that many peaches, a 29 ounce can. And it doesn't matter if it's your own. You can use frozen. Just make sure that you drain them, the water off of them. These are drained, all the juice. One of them was in heavy syrup. I drained all that. And then the other one was in just juice. I drained all the juice off. So if you're using frozen peaches, Make sure you, when you thaw them, make sure that they're drained really well. If you put, uh, <coughs> excuse me, if you put fresh peaches up in the in the freezer, I just think that's wonderful. We done that all the time. I just, I, the last couple of years, I have been so busy in the summertime that I've missed out on going and getting Missouri peaches. Um, it's really a shame. Because, like I said, the peaches are really good this year. Um, peaches are very expensive anymore. But they're just one of my favorite fruits. But if I'd have had some put up in the pantry, I would have used that. But this will be good, too. A lot of peaches, people don't have access to be able to put up fresh peaches. So, just go to the grocery store and get you some preserves. So you see how the peach preserves have kind of loosened up. So now I'm going to pour in my drained peaches, canned. I think the 29 ounce was great value. And I think my 15 ounce can was um, Del Monte. I think I, if I find fruit on sale, canned fruit, I always buy it. But I always keep 
canned fruit in my pantry always because it does stay good for many years canned and you know if you can't get to the market or things went the other way having canned fruit is very important to have in your pantry me and Danny love fruit now you can see how that's coming together with the the peaches the canned peaches and then my peach preserves now how can this not be good y'all delicious so I'm going to turn my burner off and I'm going to let this sit my pudding is still getting thick in the refrigerator and it's going to come together pretty quick well, let's talk about the trifle bowl back in the day like I was saying I didn't have a trifle bowl but I did have a punch bowl and I used that a lot of times because Thanksgiving I would make a double recipe of any trifle that I was making this is a clear bow so if you don't have a trifle bow or a punch bow and it has a lid that goes on it so I'll put the lid on it and put it in the refrigerator now this after it's made it'll last oh probably about three days after you make it and after that it's not it's just gonna start breaking down but I guarantee you when you serve this you're not gonna have much left if any but if you're making it ahead of time three days at you know for, for its best you know product three days in the refrigerator so I measured this and it's nine across and five deep if that helps y'all any and I, this is just a cake stand that I've had forever and I'm just gonna kind of put it on there so y'all can see it better and you can even serve it that way if you've got a little cake stand and you've got a see-through bow and even if it's not see-through it doesn't matter it just makes a really pretty presentation when you can see each layer but there's all kinds of different ways that you can uh, serve a dessert and make it really pretty but I just wanted to put it up here so y'all could see it if you do have a trifle bow I think that's wonderful like I said I had one and um, I don't know I moved twice after probably having it um, in the kitchen and I never used it much probably just at holidays and it I don't know <laughs> you know it's one of them things you don't know where it went you just know that somewhere along the line it went somewhere I'm gonna put a bottom layer of my cake down here on the bottom that's my first layer whether if it's pound cake, yellow cake, or angel food. You know, you ever wonder where stuff goes? I mean, I drive myself crazy sometimes because I just don't understand. I know I have something. I can't find it. Can't find it. It's just like, I think this little goblin comes in at night and just either takes my stuff or just moves around where I can't find it. Kind of like the the sock fairy you know that comes in and after you've washed a whole load of clothes and they go in there and they take just one of your socks out so you don't have a pair and you, you know you wash the whole pair of socks but once it comes out of the dryer they're not there I don't know where they went okay we're gonna put this is our pudding that we mixed up our instant pudding and I'm gonna take some of my whipped cream or if you're using Cool Whip, about a cup. And I'm just going to mix it in with my pudding. That's about 16 ounces of whipped cream. And what this does, it just really makes your pudding really uh, decadent, really uh, smooth and almost like a mousse consistency now on top of this cake I go get my uh, we gotta have our peaches because peaches is what's gonna soak into this pound cake y'all 
Let's see, I'm going to get me a different spoon. I'll get it all together here in just a minute. Okay, our second layer is going to be our peaches. Y'all, I love peaches. Mr. Brown loves peaches. We love peach butter. We love peach preserves. We love peach pie, peach cobbler. <laughs> we love it. And you can see how I'm just drizzling it over the, the cake. I'm going to take some of that juice. Make sure it's covered good. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to kind of push that in the middle. I'm going to push it up around the sides. So when, you know, you see the dish, you know that there's peaches in there. Okay, the third layer is going to be your, your pudding. And you just want to spread that out good. I'll put a little bit more. You're going to put about half of it. Just kind of spread that out you know you can take this trifle recipe and you can make it your own with any kind of cake with any kind of fruit so just think about that okay I got that and I'm gonna put a little more pudding right here because I really really Want that to show. Now, put your whipped cream or Cool Whip, whichever you're using. You want a layer of that. Y'all can probably hear my. <laughs> My timer's ticking in the background. I bet y'all can hear that really good. It's probably driving y'all crazy. I've got my timer on because I'm baking a, a cake. And uh, if I don't turn a timer on, I'll forget about it, especially when I get busy doing other stuff. So I'm sure y'all can hear that. So just spread that whipped cream out. Okay, now we're going to put another layer of our cake. So as you're, you keep layering these trifles, you can see that you can, you're able to see more of the layers. Kind of put some cake around the edge so they know that there's cake in there. I like to do a blueberry one like this and using cheesecake um, pudding, instant pudding, it's delicious. And then using uh, blueberry pie filling, using vanilla or your, your cheesecake pudding, then using whipped topping or Cool Whip. I mean, it's pretty much the same thing. You can't really mess up a trifle, y'all. You just can't. So I want to leave enough of my pound cake because I'll crumble it up on the very top as a garnish with some pecans. Okay, so here we come back with our peaches. You can do this with apple pie filling. I've got a bunch of apple pie filling that I have put up myself. So this will be a really 
good one with the apple pie filling. So any of y'all that's never made a dessert trifle, you can see how easy it is. And it's going to feed a lot of people. And I've never made a trifle that, no, that nobody ate. And, I mean, everybody just loves trifles. I guess because there's just a little bit of everything in there that you can just love. Okay, we're going to go back with the rest of our pudding. I think my next um, my next holiday recipe. Um, I think I'm going to do a cookie, and then after the cookie one, I'm going to do uh, uh, some kind of either side dish or main dish, one or the other, something different that we don't usually maybe do, just to help give people ideas and to just do something a little bit different. Okay, make sure that when you use your first layer of pudding that you don't use too much. Make sure you leave enough to spread out on your second layer. And I may have overcompensated mine and didn't leave enough. I thought I did. My eyeballs was just a little bit off on that one. But it's still gonna be okay. We'll get it spread out there and it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be larping, y'all. Larping. Okay, so now we're coming back with our whipped cream. Now, to top this, I mean, there's so much you could do. If you have a fresh peach that you can cut up and that day that you're going to serve it and kind of garnish it with kind of slice a fresh peach up and, and make a design with maybe a, a sprig of fresh mint and make you a pretty design on the top would be pretty for the holiday table. Or what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the leftover handful a pound cake and I'm just going to crumble it on top there goes <laughs> there goes my timer I'm making a Mountain Dew cake for a, a fellow co-worker it's going to be her birthday tomorrow so I'm making her she loves she likes a Mountain Dew cake I've made them before and took them to work and she really likes them I love them. My kids love them. We don't drink Mountain Dew, but we love the cake that's made out of it. I'll get down here and I'll show y'all the layers here in just a minute where y'all can see them better. Because I'm not knowing if you're really seeing them very good yet. Okay, we about got it done. Now I'm just going to take my handful of chopped pecans. You don't have to put pecans on there. You can put walnuts or you don't have to put any nuts. You can gild the lily a little bit and put you some praline pecans on top of this. So there we go. I'm, my mouth's full with these pecan. There is our peach, peaches and cream trifle. And you can see how pretty it is. So whether if you have a trifle bowl, a punch bowl, or just a good old see-through bowl like I've got. And like I told you, this is a five deep and nine across bowl with a lid. And... Uh, it's going to be wonderful, don't you think? So if you like these trifle recipes, 
we can do one or two more before maybe the holidays just let me know in the comments below um but i think the next one we're going to do is cookies i'm uh, not sure which ones i'm going to do yet and then from there we're going to do a side or a main dish and we're just going to go back and forth with it like that so y'all get your recipe books out get your pen and paper out and uh, write all the ingredients you need down so when you go to the grocery store you'll have everything and you might already have everything you need in the pantry i know i had everything except for the pound cake of course and i could have made a homemade one but I was making, trying to make it easy on myself. You can go and uh, you can save money by buying the Great Value Pudding, peaches, uh, making your own pound cake, um, buying heavy cream during the holidays, making your own whipped cream. I mean, you can save money making these desserts. If you've made homemade peach preserves or jam, use that instead of buying it. Um, or buy the great value it'll all work and it'll all be fantastic but i really think you're going to love this recipe so when mr brown comes in from working well i know y'all want him to taste it i know you do so we'll have him taste it when he gets in Okay, we got some peaches and cream trifle. And old Paul Brown's gonna give it a taste test. Yum. I think you're kinda of liking it. Let me tell you something, that's really good stuff. I know you like peaches. Man. Kinda of tastes like Peach cobbler, maybe a little bit, and with whipped topping on it. It's got a really good With peach. a few nuts on it. Mm hmm That's good. Very good. You done well. Thank you. So, in the description box below is this recipe and a link to a lot of other holiday recipes. Enjoy wrap this video up and we don't know what we'll be doing but we'll be back if the good lord willing in a couple of days probably gonna be cooking it's gonna get close to some holidays and miss Lori's gonna try to think of some things a little different this time i think and try to get some different recipes so god bless everybody and We'll see you next time around.